In this video, I'm going to show you how to take questions right out of a exam view, matching questions, and import them into D2L. And uh, I'm going to move kind of quickly here. So feel free to stop the video and pause if uh, you need to catch up. So first thing I'm going to do is open up my exam view. A little bit of dead air here. I'm going to create a new test from scratch. It doesn't matter what the name of this test is, so whatever, blah, blah, blah. Now what I am going to do is I am going to, I'll move it up here quickly. I'm going to click this little button here and I am going to select one of my science classes. Let's open that. Test banks, uh, chapter two, let's go with. All right, so uh, I'll just select while viewing here. You can kind of go, you can pick any types of questions. Again, this video is only about a matching one. So we've got multiple choice here. We've got some completion questions. And um, there's actually two matching questions in this section. So the first one's, abiotic and biotic and it's got a whole bunch of different answers and then uh, I've got a second one here with uh, this one has five different answers but there's actually 11 questions in total on this quiz so I'm gonna be happy with those two things now what I actually gonna do even before I import is I'm gonna well I'm gonna keep this first quiz the same but I'm actually gonna change the second quiz I don't want this to have 11 different answers in fact I only want it to have five so there's my five if I quickly look, actually the first five answers are all covered in the first five answers. So all I'm going to do is change this from having 11 questions down to five. It's going to ask me if I want to reduce. Yep. And when I record, uh, you can see it's down to five. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is I am going to go up to File and hit Export. And I'm going to go to Blackboard 7.1 Plus. Now just make sure you know where you're saving this to. I'm going to call this Bio 1. And I'm going to copy because I need to type bio one there and bio one there as well. Those three names need to be all the same. And we're going to click OK. All right, so that is ready to go. Now we need to go into whatever D12 class you're working with. Got one here ready to go. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to import this and I'm going to have to put it somewhere. So I always like to put things in my question library, keep them organized. I've got a pre made bio section here. And uh, I'm going to import it into here. So. Even before I go to do that, I guess I actually do need to import this here. So let's go to more, edit course, and uh, we'll click this button here, the import button. A bunch of options, but I want this one here, the import. I'll click start, and I'm going to upload it, so I need to know where I uh, have my file currently saved. And for me, it's on the desktop right there under bio one. Click open, and import all components. And here's going to be a bit of dead air here as well as this thing imports. Now it's not actually importing it, uh, so yeah, there we go. So it's it's uh, good good to go. I've got two options here. Both of them are going to lead me in the wrong direction, so I'm just going to click View Content here, and then I am going to go back to my question library. So more and quizzes. Now my quiz is here, but I don't want this here because I actually wanted to put it, I want to put it in my question library and then have a quiz with maybe one question, maybe both, or maybe a whole bunch of other questions. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep this here for a second. I'm gonna go to my question library, my bio section, and I'm gonna import. A couple of clicks here. We'll go to Source Collection. Uh, so if you have a bunch of quizzes under your quizzes, they'll show up here. But this is the one that we've got right now. And then my Collection Root. And then I've got those two quizzes to import. So I shall click Save. And they are now in my Bio section. So I'll just click Done for a second. I'm actually finished with this. Uh, I'm going to delete that. Because the questions are in my question library. All right, so let's go ahead and make a quiz now. I'm going to have a quiz with both of those questions on it. So let's go to New Quiz. Uh, biology quiz one, sure, doesn't matter what we call it here, and I'm going to add my content. So you don't ever want to put matching questions in random sections, you just want to import them as as is. So let's see here, I think we need to go to question library, and then our bio section, and again I'm just going to pick these two this time. If I had more questions in my bio section, they would all show up here, but because I only have those two, that's what's showing right now. Okay, so a quick check here. My first question was out of 11, and so that matches up. My second question was out of 5, so, so those are good. Um, so right now my quiz is like in theory done. So let's click Done. And uh, here it all is. Of course, we've got a few other tabs we can do things with submission views and whatnot. But I want to do a quick preview here because I know there's an issue with this quiz. So let's start the quiz, and here we go. Now, right off the bat, there's a problem with this first quiz. When it imported, it didn't really do it properly. Uh, it's got, well, you can see that abiotic and biotic should only have come up one, as numbers one and two. Instead, it came up each time, and it's actually case sensitive. So if this one here, 
uh, were actually supposed to be number, you know, six because we'll say say this was a biotic one. It's not, but it's biotic. Um, one it might not recognize it as correct because a biotic and say number seven. Like, that's what it would want to have number seven. So, obviously, this is way more confusing than it should be. We should only have choices one and two. So, we need to fix, we need to go back and fix this question. Uh, this question's good, though, because we have only have five choices. We should only literally have five choices to make here, whatever order they happen to be in. Okay, so you can go ahead and save, but I know this is wrong, so I'm going to have to go back and fix this first question here. So, we can leave that there for the moment. We need to fix it. You can actually fix it from the quiz or the question library, whichever you choose. Both it'll both end up working. So, let's go into this here, and I'm going to show you what you need to do. So, again, there's going to be a bit of loading here. These matching questions always take a little bit to load up. Um, but what's going to happen here is, under my Add Choices here, it's going to give me 11 options, and I don't want to have 11 options. In fact, what I, what I need to do is I need to reduce those options down to two with one answer being biotic and one being abiotic. Abiotic, biotic, biotic, whatever order you want. Bottom line is I got to go ahead and I got to start individually deleting each of these other options here until I get down to the correct numbers of one and two. And again, if this takes a little bit of loading, um, take a bit of time here. But again, you only need to do this once. Once it's fixed, it's fixed and uh, you'll avoid confusion later on. I've had many quizzes where I didn't realize this was going to happen and I had to go back in and change uh, the, the students' marks and change a bunch of stuff. So where this used to have 11 options, remember I deleted one, now we're down to 10. So I'm going to have to go through and delete this a bunch of times as well. Then what you're going to need to do is go to your answers and check to see all these match up. Because uh, eventually I'm going to have uh, only options 1 and 2 to choose from. So I'm going to have to go through these and select them as you know whatever the right answers happen to be. So once you fix all that up, then this quiz should be good to go. You shouldn't have any mistakes and uh, everything should be good from there. Enjoy.